हरिओम टू एवरी वन या दिस इज संतोष टीचर यू आर इंग्लिश टीचर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द लेसन नंबर फाइव वेस्ट डिस्पोजल ऑफ योर इंग्लिश टेक्स बुक लेट एस लुक एट द वार्म अप पेज पेज नंबर सिक्सटी चिल्ड्रेन द एनवेरमेंट इन दिस वार्म अप पेज यू कैन सी फ्यू पिक्चर्स विच आर रिलेटेड टू द या एनवेरमेंटल इश्यू See here, uh, first picture shows traffic um, emitting gases, emitting smoke, and uh, there is industrial smoke uh, emitted from the factories, smoke from crackers and smoke from firewood. So, like this, some water pollution pollution pictures are also there, and so there are few more pictures given under that of deforestation, cutting of for uh, forest, and one more picture is given here, dumping. garbage and burning it see children these pictures uh, are related to environmental issue so here our lesson is also related to waste disposal how waste management is all comes under all the activities and actions that are needed to manage waste from its source to its final disposal how the waste is to be disposed from our houses let us go to the page वेस्ट डिस्पोजल वेस्ट कैन बी रिगार्डेड इन टू बायोडिग्रेडेबल और नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल वेस्ट ऑलरेडी यू मैन बी स्टडिंग इन साइंस बायोडिग्रेडेबल वेस्ट इंक्लूड्स ऑल दोज थिंग्स दैट कैन बी इजीली डिकम्पोज बाई न्यूचुरल एजेंट्स द डिकम्पोज मैटर इवेंचुअली गेट्स मिक्सेस एंड रिटर्न टू द सॉइल दोज मेटीरियल्स विच कैन नॉट बी ब्रोकन डाउन और डिकम्पोज बाई न्यूचुरल एजेंट्स आर कॉल एज नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल वेस्ट The this kind of waste can be it can remain in the soil for thousands of years, and can be very dangerous for the environment. There are few, yeah, list it is here given items into the letters. Divide them into biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste. Newspaper comes under biodegradable. Glass bottles non-biodegradable because they won't decompose. Yes, pieces of used cloth biodegradable. Dried flowers. vegetable peelings rotten fruits and uh, wood scraping comes under biodegradable and uh, glass bottles milk packets pens made of plastic plastic bottles aluminum cans these all comes under non biodegradable see children uh, let us move to the paragraph our let me read this paragraph for you waste management is about all the activities and actions that are needed to manage waste from its source to its final disposal most solid waste generated by households or commercial establishments end up in landfills read this report about one of its india's biggest landfills And you now here now you have understood what is waste management. Waste management is about all the activities that takes place from the source and from the disposal of waste. Okay, so where the waste is end ending up last finally where it is thrown in landfills. What happens there in the landfills? This waste gets decomposes. and the waste which is biodegradable it can get easily decomposed but the non biodegradable waste like uh, broken bottles glass bottles plastic materials it won't get decomposed easily then what about this it pollutes our environment so let us see go to the first paragraph while traveling from central delhi towards gazipur the first warning that you get that you are approaching a landfill is a site of circling burst of prey then the mound of waste becomes visible just before you are assaulted by a stench you will also see a steady stream of smoke as decomposing waste generates a highly combustible methane gas here the author says that when you are moving from central delhi towards ghazipur the first warning the first warning you will get by looking at the birds you can see the sight of circling birds of prey like eagle around the mound of waste you can understand that you are going to pass that 
landfill yes big mound of waste becomes visible and then you will be assaulted by a yes, change means you will get a, a very yeah strong and pleasant smell you will also see a steady stream of smoke from emitted from that emitting from that yeah mound and which is consisting highly which is generating highly methane gas let us move to the next page children look at this page i'm going to read it for you none of these bothers 10 year old jeevan and 12 year old devinder as they make their way to the top for years they have spent much of their time at the gajipur landfills picking sorting and selling waste without the protection of gloves or mask and the boys like most rat pickers are vulnerable to infections and illnesses often we cut ourselves on bits of discarded glass or metal says jeevan but they show no animosity towards the waste that helps them earn a living you see here children two main characters are introduced in this paragraph two boys jeevan and devendra jeevan is of 10 year old and devendra he is of only 12 year old say so the both they make their way to the top means they climb this they move to this top of this landfills mounds big heaps and they spend their much of their time at this gajipur landfill what are they doing then there they are picking up that garbage plastic and glass bottles and all all those things they are picking and then sorting sorting means separating and then selling to the waste this this waste they are selling to the shops where they are buying these things okay for recycling so without the protect that too they are doing all these things without the protection of gloves or mask they are not wearing gloves or mask and see like other rack pickers these both the boys are also vulnerable to infections and illnesses though they may get uh, some infections but these both boys are not bothered about those things because and they are not having any animosity towards uh, these waste because this waste helps them to earn their living so how we understood children this paragraph introducing two rack pickers who are they jivan and devendra so here our author what he want to say as is that this is not uh, the correct way of having landfills close by to the habitats let us move to the next paragraph in this page you can see one picture of landfill it is um, the yeah waste dumped into the landfill the landfill just outside the landfill is dotted with Uh, markets houses and places of worship these violate the municipal solid waste rules which states that landfills should be away from habitants clusters here in the landfill which is uh, the land just outside the landfill is having many markets and houses and there are some places of worship where many people will be visiting so this they are they they are vulnerable to the diseases yes isn't it children so they may get infected and this this violates the municipal solid waste rules what are the municipal solid waste rules the municipal solid waste rules what is it yes that landfills should be away from habitation clusters habitation clusters means the places where people are living so here but this landfill is just violating that rule because it is built very close to the markets and houses let us move to the next paragraph activists feels that we follow a flawed system of waste disposal and management we need to discourage landfills as these dump sites catch fire easily these fires are often difficult to extinguish because they burn through methane plastic and other highly flammable substances they say that landfill waste should be com- compacted and put under soil over cover cover daily so that there is no fear of pollution here solid waste rules 
municipal solid waste rules also says that these landfills must be built away from the habitants away from the habitation clusters not only that but these landfills must be covered daily so that there should not be any fear of pollution and activists also says that you know, our system is following a flawed system the waste disposal and management is a system here followed by is imperfect not perfect because and he is saying here author is saying that we need to discourage landfills as these dump sites catch fire easily and which becomes difficult to extinguish because of the presence of methane and plastic in this landfills it becomes very difficult to extinguish the fire let us move to the next special improper waste management causes problems such as air pollution from burning of waste both at landfill sites and in open areas it also causes pollution of groundwater when leached the liquid residue that forms as water seeps through contaminated areas mixes with surface and groundwater here improper waste management causes so many problems such as air pollution not only air pollution but also landfill sites in open areas it causes pollution of groundwater because when it rains yes the dirty water leaches means seeps into the ground yes the liquid that is existed from this landfills gets into ground along with the water when water seeps into this contaminated areas gets mixes with surface and ground water so in this way not only the air polluted but also water is polluted ground water is polluted we need to learn from sweden which is a zero waste country we need to learn from countries like sri lanka which is segregating its waste or bhutan where everybody is conscious to not pollute their land says swati sambyal center for science and environment swati sambyal she is working at center for science and environment she says that we need to learn from other countries like sweden sweden is a zero waste country and we need to learn from other countries like sri lanka sri lanka segregates its waste separates its waste biodegradable waste separate and non biodegradable waste separate yeah recently in our place also our telangana also we have got two different dustbins like green color and blue color to segregate our waste but i don't think that many people are following that and uh, here swati sambal also says that we need to learn from bhutan here the example of bhutan is also given when we, in this country everybody is conscious to not to pollute their land so let us move to the next paragraph children there is a need to or- organize awareness programs for citizens to encourage segregation and recycling most activists push for segregation at source and feel is strict set of laws and the fear of penalty is needed to make people comply see in here the most activists they say that for the segregation uh, at source at source means the place where the waste is released like our houses household waste like industrial waste if they keep if they imply some penalty on them if they don't follow the rules they, they this is the penalty they must pay if these things are done if uh, then awareness will come uh, among the people like that this activist they say so they say that there should be there should be organized some programs for the citizens to encourage and to encourage your segregations and recycling let us move to the next paragraph children it is about the swachh bharat mission here the swachh bharat abhiyan or clean india mission is a campaign in india that aims to clean up the streets and roads and infrastructure of india's cities 
smaller towns and rural areas swachh bharat about swachh bharat mission you might have heard yes so here children in this swachh bharat abhiyan or clean up in clean india mission is a campaign is a campaign um, in india it it aims to clean up the streets roads and not only its streets roads but also infra infrastructure of india's cities and smaller towns and not only towns but also villages here let us move to the next paragraph about the campaigns the campaigns was of the campaign was officially launched on 2nd october 2014 it was the 145th birth anniversary of mahatma gandhi Uh, where it was launched at Rajghat in New Delhi, and it is India's largest cleanliness drive to date, with people from all parts of India participating in the drive. The mission aims to achieve a Swachh Bharat by two thousand nineteen as a fitting tribute to Mahatma Gandhi on his one hundred fifty eighth birth anniversary. What is the aim of that mission? It's a tribute. As a Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, Swachh Bharat by two thousand nineteen, for to Mahatma Gandhi on his one fifty eighth birth anniversary. So people from different sec sections of the society have come forward to join this mass movement of cleanliness, from segre from government officials to soldiers, Bollywood actors, and to sports persons. Industrialized to leaders have all lined up to take on this challenging task. They help, they help by organizing cleanliness drives, drives, and launching awareness campaigns on hygiene. The website, the web, the website my clean India highlights the cleanliness work carried out by citizens. Here, children. Not only the leaders, but also Bollywood actors, sports persons, industrialists, all came forward to um, join hands in this cleanliness program. And uh, there is a website which highlights the cleanliness work carried out by citizens in our country. So here, children, this para says that some of the activists of the Swachh Bharat Mission are organizing. Frequent cleanliness campaigns to spreading awareness about hygiene through plays and music and launching the website My Clean India simultaneously as part of the Swachh Bharat drive to highlight the cleanliness uh, work uh, carried out by citizens across the nation, taking the broom to sweep the streets, cleaning up the garbage, focusing on sanitation, maintaining a hygiene environment. Let us move to the next paragraph, children. See, look at this page. The people of Maharashtra, Navalwadi village, had faced massive scarcity of clean water in the past, but now the village has an abundance of water. The people got together and built a thirty-five thousand liter water tank and installed water pipelines. The villagers also cleaned up the surroundings. Next paragraph. Inspired by the Swachh Bharat mission, the villagers in Thrissur, a Pujakal in Kerala, decided to tackle the huge garbage dumps in their area. They put a proper waste management plan in place. They regularly re removed waste, in installed waste bins, and even set up a biogas plant. Now this village is the role model for the whole of Kerala. See here, children, look at this. It says that the village in Naval, the Navalwadi village in Maharashtra, had faced a massive scarcity of clean water in the past. But now the village has an abundance of water because it had five thousand liter water tank, and several water pipelines have been installed as part of this mission. And the surroundings of the villages were also clean. The same way, the same same way, and the people inspired by this Swachh Bharat mission in Kerala, Thirusur villagers, Thirusur villagers, they also decided to tackle the huge garbage dump in their area. So they put a proper waste management plan, and they regularly removed the waste and they installed waste bins. 
big waste bins and even set up a, set up a biogas plant now this village also has become the role model for last uh, for, for the whole of kerala so let us move to the next paragraph children the village of chauras is located on the banks of the river narmada in madhya pradesh the area in and around the banks was full of garbage the villagers had no clue that the waste what and the water they drank was polluted because of the toxic waste from the garbage here too it was people who came together to clean the river banks the village has clean drinking water now and the river banks are clean see children the chauras the village of chaura it is located on the banks of the narmada in madhya pradesh it was filled with the piles of garbage and the water was very much polluted however things changed when the people they came together to clean the river banks and now the village has access to clean drinking water and the garbage piles have been removed let us move to the next paragraph children yeah look into this paragraph in many villages across india it is the women and the children who are helping to create awareness on the cleanliness the women take part in the cleaning programs because they believe that the children are the future of the village and that as mothers it is important for them to set an example students in primary schools are taught the importance of cleanliness and they in turn spread the message to their families here children um it is a so in this paragraph it says that the women can set a good example for their children by helping out in keeping the environment clean not in children learn by doing so watching their mothers will inspire them to keep their own surroundings clean not only that but also they were taught in schools about the waste management and about this uh, uh, swachh abhiyan so which in turn they have started spreading nearby their houses and let us move to the next paragraph children the objectives of swachh bharat also include eliminating open defecation through the construction of individual and community owned toilets and not only cleaning the surroundings but the object of this swachh bharat mission also included eliminating open defecation mostly it is done in yeah rural side villages side yes the let, let us move to the next paragraph in the jahanaba district of bihar nearly 40000 women brought about a social change by coming together to clean up their surroundings and convincing villagers to build toilets the residents of rajasthan chitorgarh bilwara and udaipur districts now have individual toilets in their homes the collective effort by the people is has resulted in more than 3000 toilets in coimbatore tamil nadu in haryana the importance of building toilets was spread through bill billboards posters and radio advertisements see children the objectives of swachh bharat include eliminating open defecation also through the construction of individuals and community owned toilets nearly 14000 women came together to convince the villagers of jahanabad to build toilets in their homes in coimbatore also the mission has succeeded in building another 3000 toilets in haryana the importance of building toilets was spread through billboards posters and radio advertisements let us move to the last paragraph of this lesson by inviting people to participate in the drive the swachh abhiyan has turned into a national movement citizens are now becoming active participants in cleanliness activities across the nation the dream of a clean india once seen by mahatma gandhi has begun to take shape so it is important to children uh, how the people have to participate 
in the drive so that swachh bharat abhiyan has turned into a national movement and citizens from all over the country started participating coming forward uh, in this movement and uh, cleanliness movement so across the whole the nations the dream of this clean india once uh, which was seen by mahatma gandhi has started taking its shape so yeah uh, so we have come to know that landfills needed to be away from human habitation because they contain decomposing waste which are full of harmful bacteria and other pathogens decomposing waste also releases combustible methane gas which becomes a smoke and breathing these gases is not good for the human body so burning of waste at landfill sites causes pollution of groundwater when it leaches mixes with surface and groundwater and uh, it, it this lesson says that or the also says that it is important to segregate waste at source because then it would be easier to recycle them and if it is not segregated at source then it would pile up which would make segregation at later stages even more difficult we can raise awareness about proper management through the various forms of media so bye children have a good day